Hi, I'm David Astor of Ingenious Training, where we're always creating strategies to help people learn more easily, effectively, and enjoyably. Today I'm here to answer a question I've heard from several of our clients. They ask, so David, how do you manage to consistently design such successful training? And I tell them, it's by always being mindful of the three fundamental mechanisms for learning, engaging attention, connecting new information to existing knowledge, and reinforcing new skills with practice and feedback. Attention is required for information to penetrate memory. You see, people learn when sensory information is given enough attention to make its way into working memory. And there, depending on what we do with it, it can connect with existing knowledge structures to become part of long-term memory and available for retrieval and use when it's needed. So, to engage attention, we first motivate learners by helping them understand how the new skills and knowledge will be beneficial to them. We also explain the rationale for each activity with respect to their learning process. And to maintain their attention, we keep participants stimulated and actively processing the content using a wide variety of cognitive support tools and strategies. Our next mechanism for teaching and learning is connecting new information with existing knowledge. Our long-term memory is like an interconnected network of tiny nodes, each containing facts and sensory data. It's our ability to associate incoming information with parts of our existing memory that enables us to make sense of the world as we encounter new places and situations. So, to help learners make stronger connections across existing memory, we use lots of examples, analogies, images and graphics, games, simulations, and memory devices like mnemonics. And we can create interactive collaborative tasks for asynchronous courses as well as for live classroom or virtual classroom training. The third mechanism is reinforcing new skills through practice and feedback. We need to use new skills in order to know we're actually learning and we need feedback to know how to improve. Some things give immediate feedback on their own, but more often we need nuanced information about our performance to make efficient adjustments and improve. The closer the practice can come to approximating real world conditions, the greater the transfer to real job performance. So we use detailed case study scenarios, business simulations, technical labs, and on-the-job coaching to maximize transfer of training and therefore maximize our clients return on investment. New skills need to be reinforced after training or they can quickly decay. Here at Ingenious Training we like to say learning is a process not an event and we encourage managers to take a strategic interest in recommending training for their employees and assigning them tasks that utilize their newly acquired skills and then monitor their performance to give constructive feedback. So when folks ask me how we at Ingenious Training keep creating such successful learning experiences, I tell them it's by always focusing on the three core mechanisms of teaching and learning. Engaging attention, connecting new information to existing knowledge, and reinforcing new skills with practice and feedback. These are just some of the fundamental ideas that help us consistently deliver the high quality of work our clients expect. Well, thanks for watching this video, and warm regards until next time. This is David Astor for Ingenious Training.